Hello there everyone, my name is Jesus Quesadilla and welcome to the ninth episode of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Uh, so we're again here with Vic Vance, brother to Lance Vance, who flew into Vice City in the last episode. We had a little skirmish with the Cholo gang, but things have settled down now, and we're here outside of Lance's hotel that we so kindly put him up in. And we're going to begin with the first mission in Lance's strand of missions, which is the audition. And a whole lot of that rhymed. I'm a poet and I don't even know it. I am Lance Vance, baby. You can trust me. Lance T. Vance. A T for truck. Great. I thought the T always love. stood for thug nasty. I love you, man. No, not in a funny way. <laughs> I ciao. What was that? <laughs> nothing. Didn't sound like nothing. Vic, look at me. It was nothing. You know you and can you trust him because trust is in what his name. You thank me. Like I haven't heard that before. What have you done? I found a way in. Two kids, oh. broken home, no education, no father. What? And rich as shit. It's the American dream, baby. People look, with good look, medical treatment. We are not kids. We're young at heart. Listen, Maybe I'll just leave you at Six Flags. I'm a big player. And we'll get big money for doing absolutely nothing. This better not be drugs. We won't be touching no drugs, man. Come on. You know, I'm your brother. You can trust me. I hardly know anyone who really trusts their brother. If anything, that's reason not to trust him. But anyway, go to go ahead and get into Lance's so first mission. My man's name is Forbes. He's going to call us at the burger bar any minute now. So let's get down there pronto. Why the hell do we have to be at the burger bar? Alright, whatever, you set the deal, Lance. I'm gonna trust you on this one, but you're on a short leash, buddy. So we're gonna go ahead and race down here and, I guess, order up a burger. Hopefully OG Loke ain't working here. So merchandise is hidden in the car's side panels. Ah, yeah. By merchandise, you no better problem. mean stolen PS3s. I ain't touching no drugs, Lance. Okay, we're gonna pick up Forbes' car. That's it? No drugs? Some player. Man, give me a break. There's no winning with you. Oh shit! You gotta be kidding me. Okay, nobody move! Oh, Come great. On. Hands where I can see him! Do it! Oh, I said, nobody fucking move! These guys have played just a little bit too much payday. Their plan was perfect. Except that they weren't counting on me packing heat. Let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. And... Oh, shoot. I, I did not mean to be shooting those guys. My bad. I killed a couple hostages there. That is totally my fault. Let's go ahead and get out of here before the heat turns up. Man, that's just typical. They think we did it? This is bullshit. Jeez, always blame the black man. Where's Jesse Jackson when you need him? Alright, let's go ahead and bail out this way real quick. And uh, hopefully Lance is sticking nearby and not getting in fights with those cops there. Alright, so let's go ahead and steal this car here. I mean, at this point we really have committed a crime, so I guess they have the right to be after us now. But, really? You just gotta assume that the black guy with an Uzi coming out of Burger Shot with blood all over him is the culprit? That's pretty presumptuous. But, uh, so, I don't know if you guys noticed there, but a little pop-up said that we have until 6.15 on that in-game clock, which means we have about four minutes to, uh, race on down to the docks and recover Forbes' uh, vehicle for him. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that, and I'm not really all that concerned about a two-star wad level, that's nothing we can't deal with, I guess. And, uh, we do have Lance firing at the cops as they approach, so I think we're pretty much safe. So I guess we do have a little bit of time to kill as I'm making my way down there. Uh, recording this video on a lovely Friday evening. Things are just perfect here. I hope that the uh, same can be said for all you guys out there. I do wish the best for all of you. Um, actually, now that I do think about it, earlier in the morning, there was a bit of a tremor here. Uh, an earthquake. I think uh, we looked it up online, and I think it registered like a 5.2 magnitude or something like that. I forget exactly what it was. Something around there. Nothing too bad, but um, I actually live up in a two-story building up on the second floor. And so uh, the building, it tends to shake and warp a little bit whenever there's an earthquake. And so I'm not too worried about it actually giving way or anything like that. It's just a little bit concerning when you feel the earth moving beneath you and you're that high up. 
And uh, besides being a two-story building, it's also built on top of a hill, so that's even more added height, and it's just kind of nerve-wracking at times. Yard. So what are we doing here? We're going in the back door. Okay, this went from semi-legitimate to totally sketch in about two minutes flat. So we're going to go ahead and get on the motorbike and... Oh, damn, 5-0. Okay, uh, let's back off for just a second there. Oh, crap, they pop on my tires, too. That's actually not good at all. Um, okay, let's see if we can do this even with a pop tire. It's going to be a little more difficult, I think, but hopefully we can manage it. I'm going to have to drive up these stairs. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to build up enough speed, though, because one of my tires are popped. Damn. Okay, let's try this. Oh, nope, I think we got it. Phew, that would have sucked if I had to fail the mission because of that. And, uh, okay, oh god, we have to make a jump too. Alright guys, keep your fingers crossed, Lance. Hold tight. Damn! Alright, stick that land in too. Cool beans, cool beans. Alright, so now... We're in the impound lot, and we have to recover Forbes' vehicle before it gets impounded. So, uh... Let's just go ahead and make our way down here. I believe that there may be some enemies in the general vicinity, so let's go ahead and take them out first. Just so, um, they don't shoot at us while we're escaping with Forbes' vehicle in a few minutes. Let's go ahead and take care of this guy. For the most part, Lance does a good job of picking them off, but you can help expedite things just by running them over. I find that that tends to work just a little bit better. Go for it, Lance. You got this, homie. Alright, and I think this will be the last guy here, and now we are pretty much home free. Just going to hop in the car and drive it to safety. So Lance, if you will, please get in here. And I still really want to know what that merchandise is, Lance. You said it wasn't drugs, but I trust you about as far as I can throw you. Alright, oh god, we got backup here. Um, let's make the jump! Whew, just barely cleared that. Great driving, Vic! But, um, uh, it's best that I take it from here. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Really, well, man? You're just going to take all the man. glory? He wouldn't trust you. See you later, baby. Let's, you asshole. Wow, that's typical. Okay, well, mission passed, and I guess at least Lance threw us a couple bucks there. Still want to know who this Forbes guy is, though. And luckily, we're on our way to meet him now. Lance is just sending us a text. I've dropped off the car, bro. See you at Forbes's place. Alright, cool beans. So, what I'm actually going to do, because I notice I probably want to get some armor, I think. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that off-screen real quick. I'm just going to go grab some armor and possibly some ammunition. And after that's all taken care of, I'll go ahead and meet you guys at the marker to start the next mission. So, I'll see you guys there in just a second. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back. Uh, I went ahead and bought some more armor, and I also went and saved my game off-screen, so we're here at the marker for Forbes, and let's go ahead and meet this guy that we've been working for. Money for nothing. Why does that sound too good to be true? You want to hear about a little plan that is going to make us three very rich? Very rich. No, no, I already tried the male porn star thing. That's not really my bag. Will not be handling any drugs. All I need you to do is keep the cops busy while Lance and I steal some merch off the scum who brought it into this country. The drugs are already here, so we ain't drug trafficking. Exactly. By drugs, I really it's hope you mean drug. Advil. All you gotta do is make the police think you're carrying. They can't arrest you for that. No, but they can shoot me. Oh. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, come on, man. Come on. So they basically, I'm taking fine. all the risk. Rich? And fine. All right, let's do it. Yeah, let's pop. Whoa, that's a really weird look there. All right, well, just going to ignore the fact that he gave a really silly glaze to me, but anyway. So I guess we're just going to be a decoy while these two steal the drugs. Technically, I'm not touching the drugs, so I guess that's not morally corrupt per se, sort of. I don't know, I'm just trying my best to justify this. But uh, I do remember this mission somewhat. Um, it's not all that difficult if you know a really easy way of handling it, and I kind of do remember it. Hopefully it works as well as I think it does. 
but uh, first things first, we gotta get our way over to the decoy van and... Whoa, what, what in the hell? Whoa, 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 what the heck is going on? Oh, that was weird. I think my controller was glitching out or something like that. And uh, besides that, I also overshot the turn I was supposed to make because we were supposed to go grab the decoy van. My bad on that. That was really, really weird. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Maybe one of my trigger buttons is stuck or something. That was really odd how it was flickering like that. But uh, anyway, I believe to get to the decoy van, we're supposed to come somewhere around here? That's what it looks like anyway. Alright, good, good. So this is what I'm going to be driving uh, to keep the cops busy and make them think that I'm trafficking drugs while really Lance and uh, Forbes are going to be doing all the business on the side. So let's go ahead and make our way over to the warehouse. And uh, you're not actually going to encounter any heat on the way there initially. Um, you won't get any cops following you until after you've dropped off Forbes and uh, Lance there at your destination. So we got a pretty smooth ride ahead of us. So I was pretty stoked when I logged into my PS3 uh, the other day. Uh, I guess they're kind of updating the, uh, was it the PSN Plus catalog, which if you guys don't already know, PSN Plus is basically a paid subscription that uh, PS3 users can get and it entitles you to things like special discounts, uh, free games, and that sort of thing. And uh, for a while, the uh, free game selection was games like Infamous 2, Little Big Planet 2, and that sort of thing. And um, just in this month, I believe that they're revamping the catalog, they're taking out those games, and they're putting in Deus Ex Machina and Saints Row 3, along with some other games that I can't quite remember off the top of my head, but I'm pretty excited just because uh, you know, I've actually paid, played both of those games before on the PC, but I've never had the chance to play them on the console. And it's kind of cool that I get to play them for free. Which, um, I don't know, I think PSN Plus is probably one of the coolest subscription programs on any of the current gen consoles. This is gonna be the decoy van! Come on, Vic, you drive! This van's the wrong color, Forbes. Relax! Wow. It's nothing a little paint can fix. That's a pretty big oversight, though. This van is good to van go! <laughs> Yeah, honey, Vic, take the decoy and lead the cops away. All right, all right, we can go ahead and do that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take the decoy van, and as soon as we leave this building, the heat is going to be on us like crazy. I think we actually get a three-star wand level, which I believe will be the first time in the Let's Play that we get one. And yep, right on cue. And so what we're going to need to do is evade the cops as best as we possibly can for as long as possible until Lance and uh, Forbes can complete their job. So there we have a progress meter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out from the highway onto the side of the road over here onto the grass where all these trees are. Um, and basically I'm going to drive down to where the docks are and then just come back up to where I started and kind of like loop to loop around that way. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about, so hopefully I can show you a little more clearly than I can tell you. But um, we're sticking to this area here around the trees because um, all the foliage presents a lot of obstacles that hopefully police officers will run into. And uh, that's really the main objective, is just um, to surround yourselves with obstacles that hopefully cop cars will collide into and crash and go out of control with. Um, that's because the van is a lot slower than the cop vehicles that will be pursuing you, and so you kind of need to surround yourself with these obstacles. Anyway, go, go around this curb here. And basically, we're just going to make a little loop-to-loop uh, -loop around this little section of pavement here. Going down here to the dock along this way, and then circling back around, and just going back and forth in place. And um, it looks like it's working pretty well. Um, I haven't seen a police car actually pursuing me for a while here. I've seen a couple police blockades, but those are easy to drive around. Um, I guess if you stick around here near this boat, you're pretty safe. That helicopter I can hear, but I don't think it'll actually shoot at you or anything like that. Um, primarily though, you can't go too far north on the game map because you have to stay away from where Lance and Forbes are completing their job. And, um, actually our progress bar is surprisingly already almost full, so I guess, yeah, if you just stick to this little, uh, sidewalk area here, drive back and forth along it, it seems to work pretty well. And I haven't seen a cop spawn in a while, so... 
Maybe that's another benefit. Maybe by sticking to the sidewalk, fewer cops spawn. Alright, cool. Alright, so Lance is all done, but we are not. We actually need to lose this wanted level in order to complete the mission. Uh, easiest way to do that, since we are down here close to the docks, we're just going to hop on over to the pan spray down the road. And what a beautiful full moon we have going on over there. But yeah, after that, it should be mission complete. So yeah, nothing too difficult at all. Pretty easy money. So we're just going to come around here, try not to run over too many innocents. And oh god, oh god, don't pop my tires. It's the last thing I need now is to just crash out of control. With my luck, I know it would happen too. And cool, $1,500. Not a bad payday, not a bad payday at all. So we're just going to hop out here because it is now time to end off the episode. So uh, thank you guys once again for deciding to join me today. My name is Jesus Quesadilla. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe to me, and that way you'll be updated in the future when new videos are posted to my channel. Otherwise, guys, thanks for checking this one out. This is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace!